Recently, I made a reaction to Hoyt Show talking about Donald Trump. It was incredibly enjoyable as always from the Hoyt Show. And on that video, a lot of people gave me recommendations for other videos to watch. So thank you for those recommendations. Keep them coming. One of the most commonly requested was this one. It's called America First, Germany Second. And it's from Jan Boomerman. So tell me more about Jan Boomerman. Recommend more of his work and yeah, as always, tell me what you think about this video. Die Welt redet von Donald Trump. Ich weiß nicht, ähm, seit der Inauguration, ich glaube jetzt 13, ähm, 14 Tage her, seit der Inauguration, 20. Äh, am, am 20. Januar mhm. war es, seit der Inauguration gibt es eigentlich nur noch ein Thema. Amerika schaut nach vorne. From this day forward, it's going to be only America first. America first. Populism in action. Ich, war, ich, war auch so, ich war so euphorisch über das, was Donald Trump in nur 13 Tagen geleistet hat. Ich habe am Montag, ich war, ich war so unglaublich, ich saß vor Twitter, ich konnte quasi mein Handy gar nicht mehr von den Augen lösen. Ich saß, ich war wirklich begeistert, werden Sie gesehen haben, wie ich getwittert habe. So begeistert war ich. Aber dann, letzte Woche Montag, bin ich auf einmal urplötzlich wütend geworden. Ich habe was im Internet gesehen, was mich so als Deutscher so wahnsinnig wütend gemacht hat. Eine holländische Fernsehsendung. Eine kleine holländische Fernsehsendung, deren Konzept offensichtlich von uns geklaut ist, hat für den amerikanischen Präsidenten Donald Trump ein Video produziert, damit es, ich weiß nicht, ob Sie es gesehen haben, damit es in Zukunft heißt America First, The Netherlands Second. Das Video ist ein viraler Hit geworden, auf der ganzen, ganzen Welt angesehen, bis jetzt, ich glaube, 74 Millionen Menschen bei Facebook und YouTube. Jetzt reicht es. Stopp, Holland. Wir wollen Nummer zwei werden. Deutschland, Germany wants to be second, denn wir sind stark, wir sind groß. Und wer, wenn nicht wir, hätte eine dritte Chance verdient? <lacht> oh. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. That punchline came from nowhere. They deserve a third chance. That is hard. That's on the edge. I like that type of comedy. Pushing boundaries. But the one minute leading up to that punchline, pure sarcasm. I love it. I've said before, being British, we love sarcasm. That's our type of humor. The Germans just do it at this high level. This was no different, this was perfect. And talking about America, growing up in the UK, we are exposed to a lot of British comedy, but apart from that, it's usually American comedy, American comedians. But after watching all of these videos, our humor is much more aligned to German humor, especially when you see sarcasm like that. <laughs> and a punchline like that, just... Aber stop. So hard. Stop. Dazu müssen wir es dem amerikanischen Präsidenten so leicht wie möglich machen. Er, er liest nicht. Und deswegen sagen wir es ihm am besten in seiner Sprache. Mr. President, this is for you. This is a message from the government of the Federal Republic of Germany. Dear Mr. President, this is an introduction video about Germany, voice. the best country in Europe. Better than the Netherlands. Bad people, the Dutch. <laughs> Straight in with that, bad people, the Dutch. But I think this, if I'm right, I believe that this blackface in Netherlands is like a tradition in Netherlands. It might even be related to Christmas. Maybe someone that comes before Christmas and does something. Tell me more about that. But this already, from this two minutes, the, the first joke, the first punchline in this can also, oh, I can already tell this is a bit more edgy in its humour, which I appreciate. Everything is orange in the Netherlands, which we totally love, because you are orange too. But the <laughs> Dutch are dangerous. Totally destroyed the hair of Rudy Foller. A total disaster, believe us. German Baller. culture is the best culture in the world. We have Culture Candela, great band, the German Three Doors Down, and we have Pietro Lombardi and Sarah Lombardi. He is a normal person, and she is a bitch. It's true, everyone says so. She is a bitch. Really? This is the Oktoberfest. It's the best beer fest God ever created. There is pee everywhere. You would love it. Just saying, great pee, German beer pee, or as we call it in Germany, Bud Light. <laughs> Comparing German piss to Bud Light is quite an apt comparison. I'm sure a lot of people in Europe would agree with that. America has the KKK. Germany has the FKK. Pussies everywhere. So great. It's like being backstage at a Miss Universe pageant. 
Germany has a great history. We actually, it, it's true, have the best history in the world. Great politicians, great leader, so smart, great hair, great suit. Look at his suit. He made Germany great again. <laughs> wow. He made Germany great again. Comparing Hitler to Trump, especially with that make it great again tagline. Wow, that is... The media totally loved him, wrote only nice things about him. Great guy, total winner. His book, a bestseller. It's true, Steve Bannon absolutely loves him. Germany hosted two world wars in the last 100 years. They were the best world wars in the world. And we won <laughs> both of them, bigly. Anyone who says anything else is fake news. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Again, man, this is so on the edge. I love this type of humor. This is taking this the satire right to that boundary. Uh, tell me what how this sort of comedy or this sort of satire is received in Germany, especially making references to the wars and to to Hitler as well. They hosted the wars. Just even the terminology of that is so funny. Period. After the war, we totally rebuilt Germany. Just did it. We just built a new Germany on top of the old just Germany. Whole new cities, fantastic, even more beautiful than before. And we built a great German wall. Just built it. And we made the Russians pay for it. <laughs> Sorry to keep stopping this. This is like one amazing line after one amazing line. Got to say a great rating on this segment. Talking about the wall now. All these comparisons of German history to Trump as well, which is interesting in itself. Just build, just build the wall, get the Russians to pay for it. Well. It's true. People were literally dying for the wall. People in Germany love walls. We actually cried when after 28 years, the wall got torn down by David Hasselhoff, who, <laughs> by the way, is one of the least overrated actors in the world. Why is it's he so fact. famous in and Germany he has as well? a talking car. Absolutely fantastic. And this is Angela Merkel. The music she is changed. the best woman in Germany. She's great. She has the best smile. Look at that smile, baby. Angela Merkel will like you even more than Melania does. It's true. But please don't try to <laughs> grab her by the pussy, okay? We don't know what's down there. We totally understand it's going to be America first. But can we just say Germany second? The best wishes from Germany. We have the best wishes in the world. And by the way, when you push the red button to destroy Germany with nuclear weapons, this is how Germany looks like on the map. <laughs> wow. I've been so impressed with the segments on the Hoyt Show. This may have just topped all of them. That was just constant joke after joke like the observations in that the comparisons tell me what you think about that that was like a legendary couple of minutes for me Hoy. Deutschland we want to be second is Holland okay that's good that's good that's good stop 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 ich, ich weiß ich weiß was jetzt vielleicht einige von ihnen denken vielleicht finden sie es ein kleines bisschen lame von uns den Holländern ihre erfolgreiche Idee zu klauen und es ihnen einfach nachzumachen. Aber, ganz ehrlich, nicht nur wir Deutschen sind empört, auch andere Nationen in Europa und in der Welt waren außer sich, als sie das Video der Holländer gesehen haben. Und ähm, das wissen sie jetzt vielleicht nicht, ähm, kann ich ja mal verraten, alle guten Late-Night-Shows der Welt sind für besondere weltpolitische Lagen durch Notfall, Telefon, Direktleitungen miteinander verbunden. Jede Show auf der Welt hat ein eigenes rotes Telefon im Konferenzraum, which we never used before, um, aber dieses Mal haben wir es benutzt und uns zusammengeschlossen. Alle europäischen Late-Night-Shows waren empört, als sie dieses Video der, der Holländer gesehen haben. Vor allem erstmal, weil es so lustig war, dass man sich mehr toppen kann, außer, außer wir schließen uns alle zusammen und jedes Land auf der Welt bekommt die Chance, Zweiter zu werden. Meine Damen und Herren, it's totally true, die besten, also zumindest Sagen Sie das von sich selbst. Die besten Late-Night-Shows außerhalb der USA machen mit. Hier mal ein paar Fotos aus den Redaktionen, zum Beispiel Holland, die Niederländer, die alles mit denen alles angefangen hat. Liebe Grüße nach Holland. Hello, Arjen. Viele Grüße. Applaus aus Deutschland. Jetzt klatscht doch mal, Leute. Hello. Hello, Netherlands. Heute Abend zeitgleich mit uns äh, laufen die Kollegen und kommt das Video aus Dänemark. Dänemark, Dänemark. Ich glaube, am Dienstag... 
am Dienstag. Am Dienstag sind, glaube ich, äh, Grissemann und Stermann. Willkommen Österreich beim ORF genau. dran. Mhm. Ähm, hallo Österreich. Servus Österreich. Servus Österreich. Grüßt euch. Ja. Die Schweiz, das war die, die Schweiz, das war besonders toll mit der Schweiz. Switzerland. Wann laufen die eigentlich? Weiß ich nicht. Äh, Litauen. Liebe Grüße nach Litauen. An die Ostsee. <lacht> Und da kommen wir, das ist ein Foto von unserer Redaktion. Unsere Redaktion. Hello, das sind wir. Und, und weißt du, den kulturellen Unterschied zwischen Deutschland und Spanien, merkt man direkt, guck mal, die Spanier, jetzt Spanien, alle Waffen in der Hand. Ja. <lacht> wow, look at this man, got some machine guns and things. Was this like a real collaboration between all of these late night shows then? I mean, that's an interesting concept in itself, that you could have that similar mentality, similar will, uh, they all share these similar values uh, to go against. Trump in this instance as well. I've got to say, I really enjoy the production of this show as well. I've not seen this one before, Neo Magazine Royale. This is new to me. Tell me more about this one in itself. What you think about it? Is it still popular on TV at the moment? What's your favorite segment from them? But this is another new piece of German satire and humor for me. And I'm just amazed by the, the consistent quality of every show. So much good stuff. Da weiß man noch, warum sie bislang ohne Foto ist und außerdem mit dabei ähm, Estland, Belgien, äh, Portugal und Island. Was für mich. Und jede Sendung hat ein eigenes Video für Donald Trump gemacht, den neuen amerikanischen Präsidenten. Jedes Land möchte sagen, okay, wenn du Erster bist, wir wollen Zweiter sein. Es beginnt heute Abend in Litauen, die sind kurz vor uns dran und strahlen kurz vor uns aus. Ähm, Deutschland, Dänemark sind, glaube ich, einigermaßen zeitgleich. Und es geht in den nächsten Tagen immer weiter. Und damit Sie diese Videos nicht suchen müssen im Internet, haben wir die alle gemeinsam gebündelt auf einer Website. Alle Bewerbungsvideos für den amerikanischen Präsidenten finden Sie, sobald die im Fernsehen im jeweiligen Land gelaufen sind, unter everysecondcounts.eu. EU. Ähm, sehr schöne, ist eine sehr schöne Website, wenig Text, gut anzuklicken, auch mit kleinen Händen. Und wir haben, und wir haben aus. Yeah, tell me more about that. Have you watched all of those other videos? How do they compare to the German one? I think it's a great project. Very interesting that Trump had this much of effect on like a whole other content. It could really bring other people together in their dislike of him. Is there, I've seen in the comments, People mention that about the dislike of Trump, and I think that's fair, fair enough. What about Biden, like Joe Biden? How is he thought of in Germany, in mainland Europe? Because for me, they're both as bad as each other. Trump is probably worse, that's fair enough. But Biden, when you see him, his inability to talk and communicate, it's quite sad in a way, but it's also dangerous that a country the size of the USA, with the power they have, is being run by someone who is like in that state. Tell me how Biden is portrayed on these types of shows today. Außerdem, das ist mein, das ist mein Lieblingsteil. Wir haben einen gemeinsamen Twitter-Account eröffnet, und zwar diesen hier. Diesen. It's great.eu, der ab sofort freigeschaltet. Uh, it's great EU, at it's great EU, das ist unser gemeinsamer Twitter-Account. Und das Tolle ist, alle Late-Night-Shows momentan aus elf Ländern und weitere Länder folgen in den nächsten Tagen. Wir müssen, wir haben einfach, das ist einfach wahnsinnig anstrengend, das zu organisieren. Hut ab vor den Leuten in Brüssel, die das jeden Tag machen müssen. Ähm, wir, mach, wir, machen, wir machen weiter und versuchen, ähm, versuchen Kontakt zu weiteren Kollegen in Frankreich auf. Wenn, hallo, bonsoir France, wenn Sie das jetzt sehen, gibt es Late-Night-Shows in Frankreich? Wahrscheinlich schon, oder? Stimmt. Bestimmt. Wenn ihr das seht, hallo, please contact us. Ireland, 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 we call Ireland. Oh, you have a lovely dress tonight. But Please give me your points, Island. And Great Britain. Hello, Great Britain. Don't try to be the, like, the second first. We have to be the second. Don't try to be the, the second first. And by the way, I don't want to get into your politics, but Boris Johnson is a big wanker and Nigel Farage <laughs> is too. Don't listen to them. And <laughs> I really appreciate hearing someone German say wanker as an insult. That is great. Tell me if that is, is that known in Germany, what that means? Is it commonly used? I appreciate that. Um, Especially saying it to Boris Johnson as well. 
But I'm just a funny guy, what do I know? Wenn ihr das jetzt hier seht, hallo Tschechien, hallo Ita Ital Italia, I'm so sorry about the, the gag with the nuclear bombs. Ich weiß auch nicht, warum ich jetzt, warum ich jetzt, warum ich jetzt äh, Englisch spreche mit einem italienischen Akzent, aber ist funny. Griechenland, hallo Griechenland, wir haben so viel erlebt zusammen, gerade diese Show. Slowenien, auch wenn wir euch immer mit der Slowakei verwechseln, aber sind wir nicht irgendwie alles. Und meine Mutter, geboren in Polen, meine Großeltern in Polen, ich, halb Deutsch, halb... Hallo Polen, wo... Is this a sort of play on the Eurovision, like television show, you know, like in Eurovision? You know, I, th I think it is, I've not watched it for a long time, but I think they like talk to the other people in other locations. It seems like what he's doing at the moment, actually. Wo seid ihr eigentlich? Polen sind echt gesagt die Lust. Also, ich, also Polen, wenn yeah. Polen lustig sind, dann wackelt die Welt. Und Mexiko, <laughs> Australien. Hey, Charlie, please get back to me on, on Twitter. Charlie Pickering in Australia. Ich meine, mm -hmm. wenn man in Australien einen Eurovision Song Contest mitmacht, dann muss man doch eigentlich auch, also muss man auch zumindest bei der Sache mitmachen. Contact us und an unsere Freunde und Kollegen. Hello, dear friends and colleagues in the United States of America. An alle Autoren, to all the producers, writers, hosts. We see you all the time and we are with you. And from now on, please excuse my very broad German accent, but I'm, I'm a German. From now on, we are going to ridicule the orange shit out of the president of the United States and his fucking phony administration together, like collectively. And we only stop, we, f we stop, we... Und wir hören erst auf, wenn alle genug gelacht haben. And Mr. Mr. President Bannon, uh, Mr. President Trump, listen to me. When the whole world is standing up to make fun of you, you have, you really achieved something truly great. It's totally, truly great. And by the way, Mr. Trump, you have, um, I'm sorry, I, I have to insult you, but I I'm, I'm have like sort of a history with insulting uh, presidents. Um, so let me say this. It's, it's, ja, na, jetzt kommt eine sehr, sehr gemein. Pass auf. Oh. ZDF-Juristen, sch schnallen Sie sich an. Böhmermann legt wieder los. Staatsaffäre 2. <lacht> Nuklearversion. <lacht> Mr. Trump, listen to me. I'm the guy who got sued by Erdogan. Uh, lawsuit still pending, so I don't want to talk about it. Sued by, did he say Erdogan? Like the Turkish uh, leader? Tell me more about that. I think that's what you say. Let me just hear that again. Erdogan, I think he's... I'm the guy who got sued by Erdogan. Erdogan. Uh, lawsuit still pending, so I don't want to talk about lawsuit it. Lawsuit still pending? Here comes another insult from the maniac from Germany. You, sir, have very tiny hands. Very tiny <laughs> baby hands. And your chin line and your throat, it looks like a... Like it's very, like a very unpresidentially. It's like a very, totally. like a like a sack, like a sack with a. How do you call yeah. it in English? Uh, the, uh, sack with a ball. The sack with a ball. No, no, yeah. no. I think that's offensive. Uh, more like a pelican. You know, the, the bird. <laughs> oh, Great bird. Yeah. The greatest bird yeah. of all yeah. times. The pelican. Yeah. The pelican. He has an orange uh, here schnabel too. <laughs> it's great. So greetings yeah. to all and visit the website. Every second counts. Dot eu. It's great.eu. Wow. That was very interesting, man. That was like, yeah, some of the edgiest comedy and satire I've seen from Germany so far. Really enjoyed everything about it. A whole play, bringing Europe together to go at Donald Trump is quite an achievement as well. Tell me what you think about this one. Tell me more about Jan Boomerman. Really looking forward to finding out more about him and seeing more of his stuff. And yeah, I'm really interested to know how the current American political scene is being covered, especially with Biden as well. Uh, but yeah, tell me what you think about this one. Thanks.